Well, tonight we continue that conversation about fluoride in the drinking water. Who has it and who doesn't? This conversation is at the fore because we learned that Buffalo's water board stopped adding fluoride back in 2015. Now, this was to make an upgrade to the water system that would switch the process of adding fluoride from manual to automatic. The mayor of Buffalo said the water board decided to do years worth of testing to try to make sure that the update wouldn't lead to any contamination. But during all that time, city residents thought the water was fluorinated when it really was not. And that causes all kinds of problems. Tonight, though, we want to broaden the discussion to impact everyone watching, no matter where you live. And to help us do that, joining us live right now is Lynn Kowalski, the executive engineer of the Erie County Water Authority. Lynn, we really appreciate you joining us here. So here's what we did. You can go um, get information from the CDC. So we've been doing this over the past few days. On WGRZ.com right now, you can go there and see every single water district that is municipal or has more than a thousand customers that doesn't fluoridate the water. And I was surprised as we were going through this data that there are a number of water districts in Western New York. I mean, dozens of them, many of them small that don't fluoridate. But can you just begin here by talking about the importance of telling people whether you do it or not, right? Because then you can make the appropriate decisions. Yes, Mike, thanks, uh, thanks for having me on. So the Erie County Water Authority does provide fluoride in our water and we do it for the CDC recommendation of 0 0.7 parts per million. Um, we serve everybody within Erie, well, not everyone within Erie County, uh, we do not we do not serve the city of Buffalo, town of Tondawanda, or Grand Island, but mostly any other town or municipality within Erie County we provide water to. It's interesting as we were going through this list. Um, if you look at Niagara County, for instance, every single water district in Niagara County um, fluoridates the water. Um, the vast majority of them in Allegheny County, for instance, does not fluoridate the water. And so it does seem like, you know, for people who are watching right now and who have maybe been following this story about what the city of Buffalo has done, um, do you think it's a good idea for folks just to check, you know, depending on where they get their water? A lot of them get it from you and you're saying, you know, that you do add fluoride. But for people who are on different water systems, it's probably a good opportunity just to, to check and see, right? Yeah, Michael, they can uh, call their local health department or their lo local water utility to figure out where they're getting their water from. And we have been fielding calls from local residents um, just uh, trying to figure out where their water is provided from. Some people are calling their city of Buffalo residents or their residents from other communities and just inquiring about where their water's from and if they're caught up in, in this fluoride issue. So, Lynn, um, talk about the decision making process for the Erie County Water Authority, right? Because you're not mandated um, to add fluoride. Um, why is it that, that you all have decided that this is something important and that, um, I mean, you've been doing this for a long time, right? Yeah, I know as far as long as I've been here for 11 years, the Water Authority has been providing fluoride. I think it's been going on much longer than that. Um, it, it was a decision made at one point in time just for overall dental health uh, to provide fluoride in the water. Do you ever get questions from people and there was a there was a city of Buffalo council meeting and there um, was one lady who showed up and said that she thought fluoride is is dangerous. Um, you know, the, the CDC disagrees with that. The American Dental Association disagrees with that. Pretty much every uh, medical organization. Um, but do you ever get um, com complaints from people or, or have you done sort of that cost benefit analysis on why fluorinating the water is important? Yeah, every so often you do get those phone calls, but like I mentioned before, we do uh, we do provide uh, fluoride for the CDC recommendations for overall dental health, um, but we do we do get those phone calls once in a while. Yeah, and I, I just wanted to ask you too uh, about the confusion here, um, because I guess a lot of people, you know, maybe don't realize, um, you know, I, I live in Erie County, but maybe you get it from your local water. You live in the city of Buffalo. You don't know um, how much of a burden has that been, I guess, on the people answering the calls there at the Erie County Water Authority. Uh, not a huge burden. I, I mean, the calls coming in are, you know, it's it's probably under 50 calls at this point, too. So it's just, you know, we, we try and point them in the right direction and, and let them know uh, who to call to find the, uh, the appropriate information for where they're getting their water from. All right, we've been chatting with Lynn Kowalski with the Erie County Water Authority. This is such a huge topic right now. Um, and obviously, just again, to reiterate to everyone, um, in Western New York, you know, this is a city of Buffalo issue, but depending on where you live, you really should check and see if your water is fluorinated. Dentists say it's important that you, you know, take measures if your water is not fluorinated and go to WGRZ.com and you can see that full list. Lynn, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep.